down, but the Amuma can't fall in. The hook going down on the Janna and pushing her back into the Ezreal. The Janna having to ult the monsoon, pushing the Amumu to the wrong direction, but the Janna dies anyway to the tantrum. Ooh, unfortunate. That was an okay decision on the Janna's part to try to ult away, but the Amumu was on the wrong side and she had no shield up to keep herself alive. Anyway, the uh, Ezreal had his ult up, so there was still a chance that that would pick it up, even though she got away pretty clean. Ezreal trying to push back a little bit harder doing a little bit of damage under the tower, as some carriers are able to do. Meanwhile, Jarvan actually got a Vamp Scepter before his Hexringer, I was wrong about that, c'est la vie. But the Kale with the two extra levels and the farm advantage now going down for her. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to hang in this lane for much longer than he already has. Getting a good amount of damage though, or getting a good amount of farm either. The Amumu coming in with the gank though, ooh, the ult going down to prevent the Jarvan from running away any farther than he can. He's going down three bars, he has to flash away to prevent his own death once again. He really needs to pay attention to his wards that he's thrown down. Oh wait, he has no wards. He has one right over here. It would have actually sided the Amumu the way he came in, but I don't think he was looking at the map at the time. Meanwhile, up in top lane, Darius taking this advantage to the bank, getting a Brutalizer and uh, home-guarded Swiftness Boots, moving around very, very quickly, probably going for a little bit more of a ganking style which he has been making very good use of. Darius isn't exactly strong in the late game, so he might as well use his early game advantage as much as he can. <laughs> Janna protecting her own vision ward, although it's not going to happen as she gets caught by a hook, and Thresh picks up that ward all the same. Thresh has a good amount of damage as a support anyway, so she can't really fight that. She can run from it, sure, but she can't fight it. Meanwhile, Kale has free reign to do whatever she wants to this Jarvan, who has three bars and is on his tower. He can't, he can't really do anything. I mean, this Kale has attack range on him and DPS on him at this point because of the jungle coverage in mid lane. Hecarim, I think, waiting for his blue buff to come back up, as it should be up soon. And uh, Darius pinging some missing calls in top lane, although I think Sin is just picking up golems. Yep, there you go. Hecarim having to go mid lane to make sure this tower doesn't go down to this Kale, who's doing quite a bit of damage to it. Getting the Sheen first, probably going for a Stinger after that. Not sure exactly what the Kale build is nowadays, but I think that's going to be around the closest we're going to see of it. Amumu walking into the jungle of the enemy team, gonna see this blue buff, gonna try to get it as the Hecarim comes around the wall. The Amumu, I don't think has seen this yet, the Hecarim running into him in the bush. The Amumu running away over to the other side, getting feared by the Hecarim ultimate. The Jarvan throwing the flag, getting the pickup on the Amumu, the Tornado hitting the Amumu as well. That is a good Kale ult escaping life for a little bit longer, but he's still going to die. The Kale getting out of position as well to try to do that. Hecarim, however, is out of mana, isn't going to pick up this kill too easily. But they are going to get some free damage on the Kale. The uh, flag pull going in from the Jarvan, the Cataclysm actually picking up the kill, and Jarvan taking a good amount of damage from the tower. Not going to kill him over. That was a very good play. Trying to keep themselves in the game any way they can. To be honest, the red team isn't so far behind that they can't come back. Um, I kind of wish the Janna would keep this Caitlyn a little bit closer company, but she's doing alright, having gotten her pickaxe and double Dorans. Pretty high on the AD like that. 141, now 181 with the shield on her. To the Ezreal's 106. Ezreal going for the more standard Dorans Blade Vamp Scepter. Which is usually what I do, if I do say so myself. Ult going down, picking up a tiny bit of health off this Janna, but again, because of his build, he's not going to have a huge amount of AD this early game. Hook going down, misses the Caitlyn, and the Caitlyn's like, oh Jesus. Oh god, that was really close. She's fine though, and the tornado barely running out. Singe getting caught by the Darius once again, trying to get a little bit of extra damage on him as he's running away. Singe having to dash away as well. Both ghosts going down, but the spin picking up the kill in the end. Oof, this Darius is having a good old time in his lane. Hecarim picking up the Spirit of the Elder Lizard, making him much, much better in the jungle, as well as a few other things. He's much more damaging now, he's much faster now, he's a cool guy. Caitlyn's at two and a half bars, still trying to shoot down a little bit of extra damage on this Thresh. I'm not sure if that's the best idea. She should probably be recalling. She does have a good amount of gold, I believe. Yes, she has 981. She may, in fact, go back. I'm not sure what she's going to buy with that. Maybe level two boots. We will see as we continue onwards. Or nothing at all. She may have just recalled to uh, keep her health back up. I don't know. Janna can't really prevent this tower from doing too much damage. She can shield it, but at the amount of mana she's at, she probably doesn't really want to. Yeah, Caitlyn not going back to buy anything, just going back to heal herself up a bit. Kale getting chased down by the Hecarim, but that's not going to happen. Mumu waiting very, very hard for the counter initiation here on the other side of this wall. Kind of a lower level than he should be, though, underleveled on. Ooh, the Darius coming in very, very quickly, booking it over there. Mumu missing a stun, but throwing his ult down on the tower. Let's see if they actually go in on this as the Darius has already missed his pull. The Darius coming in as hard as he can to try to get 
the dunk off on the Hecarim, but not so much. Oh, the missed Hecarim ulti, that's very bad. The Hecarim actually picking up the kill with a spin, and there you have it. An interesting decision. The Singe coming down to pick up some minion tax as he left his lane to try to help out the mid lane. Didn't actually do anything. Meanwhile, bot lane again getting very, very heavily harassed. The ultimate going down on the Ezreal, but the Thresh blocking at the barrier going down just in case. That's called a bad trust issue. Oh my god, the Ezreal walking into a Caitlyn trap. The Caitlyn getting picked up by the hook, however. Oh, the Vox going down to prevent the animal from facing, but the Caitlyn still picks up the kill with help from barrier. Make sure she doesn't die to anything else. The entire red team coming down, as well as the entire blue team thinking about going down. The only one not here right now is Singed and the Darius, who are both dead and top lane, respectively. A movement coming around the backside as Jarvan again puts himself in a terrible position. Jarvan not actually going to be able to get away with this, even though- Oh my god, the Janna Monsoon being very, very clutch and very, very close, saving that Jar uh, yeah, that Jarvan's life. Oh my god, the Janna, however, getting slowed because of her selfless maneuvers, having to flash away from the Moomoo bandage before she dies. Well done by the Janna, that ult saved so many people. My goodness, she didn't even manage to throw down an extra shield, which is probably what I would have done on the Jarvan. Keep him alive, make it safer. Meanwhile, for the Singe, she finally got a Catalyst. At 16 minutes into the game, I believe that he's a little bit farther behind than he'd like to be. Both on farm and in kills. Darius, however, making this game look very, very simple. Flinging a minion to get that last hit. Okay, whatever, flinch about. And Darius, again, spamming laugh, because everyone who does that are jerks. And we know. We know everyone who plays Darius. Oh my god, that's annoying. Singe using his ult to try to catch up to the Darius, and this is actually a good way to do it as the Hecarim is coming in from the back end. Oh man, the slow going down to prevent the Darius from running away that direction, the Darius is going to fall, the Hecarim should probably back up before he gets dunked on, the dunk goes down, but the spin does not, the pole gets in, but he may in fact bleed to death with six stacks, that does a very very good amount of damage. No potions are for this Hecarim, but he comes out with one bar. Well played by the Hecarim. I'm not gonna lie, I would have run away long before that happened. Which isn't a good thing. Amuma coming around for the back end here, seeing if they can get a good gank here, but the Caitlyn and the Janibal pushing up a little bit far enough that they won't get caught by the Amumu. The Caitlyn pushing in very, very far to try to get the last couple of hits on this Ezreal, but it's not going to happen. The Caitlyn having picked up a BF sword as well as the pickaxe, gonna get exhausted, gonna get caught by the Amumu ulti. The Amumu tantruming and the Thresh picking up the kill with some auto attack. The Kale coming in gonna pick up this Janna kill, and there you are, the blue team thinking very far ahead and getting a couple of free ganks down on bottom lane. Hmm. Jarvan coming in very, very late to this party. He's gonna try to do a little bit of extra damage, but he's not gonna get any kill. Unless he gets the pull on the Thresh, which he does, and knocks him up. Hecarim picking up the help. And now the Hecarim ult and the Jarvan ult going down. Gonna pick up as much as they can. The, uh... Oh, excuse me. Yeah, the Jarvan having to flash away. And the Hecarim picking up that kill because Hecarim damage is amazing. Hecarim spinning around to try to get some more damage on this Amumu. The flag pull going down, but doesn't quite knock up the Amumu. The spin on the Hecarim does, in fact, take up the kill. The double kill going down for the Hecarim, he's making it look easy. And this is going to be a free dragon, because they have no more map presence as it is. There is a vision one, however, at dragon, we do know what's happening. And Singe flinging the Darius into the tower, still taking more damage, and Hecarim does pick up the dragon for the red team. The dunk going down for the Darius, and actually still not quite picking up the kill on the uh, Singe. He's going to bleed down to around two bars, there it is. And because of the Singed ulti, going to keep him alive for a bit longer. I'm not sure if the Darius wants to be where he is, nor does the Singed. They're probably going to switch spots as soon as they can. Singed almost finished with his first uh, Rod of Ages. Oh, fling goes down. Going to poison this Darius and take a little bit of extra damage. Good for that choice. I'm completely in agreement with that. My goodness. Blue buff going down for the Hecarim, letting red buff burn off those last few ticks. And um, whatever his AoE thing is. Spirit of Dread, that's what it's called. Hook going down on the Caitlyn under the tower. This is a very bad place for the Caitlyn to be. However, she uses 90 caliber net to push herself out of danger. Very well played. A moon coming around the back end, though. Not really in time, however, as the Monsoon goes down to prevent anyone from getting caught out of position. Ezreal getting caught in a Caitlyn trap. Caitlyn going barrier to try to prevent her own death. Everyone's ganking down bottom. I think the uh, Amumu disconnected or something, walking over to pick up that kill. Really just a kill steal, however, you know, why not? Not sure what he was doing the whole time. Pretty bad play, honestly.